So you've been doing this plant-based thing for a while now, right? I see you. But now you're to the point where the kale and the chickpeas just ain't doing it for you like how it used to. And then you take a step back and realize you have all this random stuff in your house. All these oils and herbs in the cabinet. Nuts and seeds in the cupboard. And all this random green stuff in the fridge, but you're just hungry. Greetings everyone, Devar with Carob Sensations here, back with another recipe. This time what we're going to do is a vegan sushi recipe for you guys, with some dipping sauce to go with it. I can't wait to show you, let's go. Alright guys, the first thing that we're going to do is gather all of our ingredients. What I have here is some romaine lettuce, bell peppers, scallion, mango, asparagus, cucumbers, purple carrots, mushrooms, and quinoa. All of this is going to fit right into a nori sheet. Now you can find these nori sheets at your local health food store. They usually come either toasted or raw. Now the quinoa we're just going to cook really quick. What I do is I bring the water to a boil, then what I do is I add the quinoa, but I make sure it's enough water in there to just cover the surface, maybe a quarter inch. I let that boil until all of the water has disappeared and you just see the quinoa bubbling on the top. At this point, I put a lid on the pot and reduce the temperature to the lowest point and then just allow the quinoa to cook the rest of the way. It should be ready in a few minutes. So next item on the list we're gonna add are these purple carrots. Now they say that the purple carrot is very nutrient dense and it's one of the original carrots out there. Please don't quote me on this, I'm just reiterating what I've heard, but you would have to do the research yourself to find out more. Next up on the list, we're going to add our cucumbers. What I do is I cut them up into spears and I de-seed the cucumbers to add to this recipe. Usually what I do with the seeds, I don't discard them, I may just throw them into a smoothie, blend them up and have them like that. Next up on the list, we're going to add some avocado. The season for avocado just ended here in Florida and we had an abundant harvest. This particular avocado I got from one of my neighbor's trees. Next up are our mango wedges. You're probably thinking that it's kind of weird to add a mango into a sushi wrap, but believe me, it adds a very nice flavor and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And now I'm gonna add the bell peppers to the mix. You can just add the red bell pepper if you want, but I had these handy, so I decided to use all three. Next up on the list is our scallion. I only add a little strip of scallion to this. Now with these portobello mushrooms, what I did was I removed the bottom of them and then I cut them into spears. And what I did was I pre-soaked them in some coconut aminos and a variety of seasonings that I'm gonna list in the link below. Coconut aminos is a great replacement to soy sauce. The only things that were cooked in this recipe are the quinoa and the steamed asparagus. Before putting the asparagus in, make sure that you bend the bottom and find where the break is. If you don't break off the bottom of the asparagus, you're going to get a rubbery portion of it and it's not going to cook really well. So what I do is I hold it in my hand and I just slightly bend it and you're going to feel and see the asparagus break in half. Wherever that break is, everything above that can be used. Everything below that I would discard because it's kind of chewy and rubbery and it doesn't really fit what I'm trying to do here. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw these in the pot after they've been cut up and we're going to let these lightly steam for a few minutes. What I do is I bring the water to a boil, then I add my steamer pot on top, and then I add my asparagus. You know the asparagus is ready when they get a little darker and they have a shiny coat to it. But what I would do is I would just get your fork in there and just test a piece, make sure it's to your liking, and then we're ready to go. As soon as you're done with that, make sure you have some ice water ready. And you take the asparagus out and throw it directly in the ice water. Now once the asparagus is cooled, it's ready to be added to the rest of ingredients. Now once everything is prepped, you can get the whole family in the process and you can roll up a bunch of these, have some to eat right now and then save for later. 
The mat that I'm using here is the sushi rolling mat made out of bamboo and you can find this also at your local health food store or you can find it online. What I do is I lay the sheet down first and I like to start with the leafy green that I'm using directly on the nori sheet and now I'm going to put the base down which is the quinoa we're using to replace the rice. Now once we fully assembled our wrap with all of our ingredients, it's time to roll it up. I would say just take your time with this, make sure you roll it as tight as you can without tearing the nori sheet. The bamboo roller does help out in this process in keeping everything tight. Now you can pack this with as many ingredients as you want to, but just keep in mind the more ingredients that are packed in, the harder it's going to be to roll. Now there are some sauces that you can buy in the stores, but we prefer to make our own and we keep the ingredient list simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to list it below with the rest of the ingredients. Just go ahead and click the link in the description box so you can get the full article on this particular recipe. Now I just wanted to give a few words of encouragement to anyone who is just starting their plant-based journey and you're finding that it's getting a little bit confusing. All I can encourage you to do is just stay the course and get yourself around like-minded people who have been where you are. Another thing too, the approach is gonna make a difference. A lot of times what we do is we eliminate a lot of foods out of our diet, but we don't replace them with anything. When we cleaned out our cabinets, it was very frustrating. And that's the thing that I hear the most with people is they just don't know what to eat. They know what they shouldn't eat, but they don't know what to eat. All it takes is a little bit of preparation on your part. And also keep in mind, guys, everyone is different. For me personally, a lot of leafy greens, moderate amount of grains, and a lot of water-rich foods really go a long way with me. I deplete myself a lot of those water reserves when I'm training, so I need something that's gonna replace those. You also have to think of the mineral content in your food. Everywhere you go, you see the emphasis on protein, but what many people don't realize is protein is not the end-all be-all when it comes to your health. There's other things you have to consider as well. One of the main things that people overlook is environment. And I'm not just talking about the internal environment, I'm talking about the external environment. Both of them go hand in hand together when it comes to your health. So instead of thinking of excluding foods, try to find a plant-based equivalent or create a plant-based equivalent yourself. That's what we started doing. We think that we run out of options, but there's no shortage of ideas when it comes to vegan foods and vegan options. There's only a shortage of imagination. And there you have it, guys. Another recipe in the books. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, for my favorite part of every video, the taste test. So I'm just going to take one of these here. Ooh, let me put this down. Get this sauce. Let you guys see what's going on. Mmm. It's kind of hot, Chris. What's that? Cayenne. You put cayenne? Mm -hmm. Ginger. Nah, that was very good. Oh man, I can't wait to get in this here. Guys, this is one of the many recipes that we have in our book, Plant-Based Family Recipes, Volume 1. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get your copy. We really appreciate the love and thank you everyone who has made their purchase of this book. Now, if you like this video, guys, do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe all over your social media channels. I don't care if it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Let everyone know. If this can benefit someone, please share it with them. And once again, we appreciate the love. Peace and love, and we'll catch you next time.